Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract data using SQL query with the help of Postman application. Many times we want to extract the data uh, with the help of SQL query and in Postman application because suppose we need to extract a particular customized data and we need some SQL query to be executed. So with the help of Postman application, it's a free to download application. So with the help of Postman application, we can do this. Now let me explain you with an example. See here, first of all, what we need to do is go to setup company inform company and enable feature. So in this enable feature, you will be redirected at this page. So go to the suit cloud and then under this suit talk web services, you have to check this checkbox. Your first task is to check this checkbox and below this, you have to check this checkbox. That is the OAuth 2.0, right? So this is the first setting that you have to do. Another is you have to go for setup integration. Here is integration. And then you have to go for manage integration and then click on new. So once you click on new, you will be redirected on this page, right? Right now I will close this. I have already created this integration. So you have to provide the name here. Just a second. Here, you have to provide the name here and then you have to take care of this checkbox should be unchecked. Just check this checkbox authorization code grant suit analytics connect and then local host. Right. This is your local computer because right now we are testing for this, but at the time of a live project, this URL will be given by the client. Okay. And then save it after saving this, you will get the client ID and client secret. You will get this code right now. This is your second task. Okay. Now let's come here. This is the postman interface. First of all, what we have to do, we have to just copy, uh, take here the get and then get operation. And then you have to copy this HTTPS the up to this level. You don't need to do like this, for example, response code and this yes okay just a second client state here okay now look at this this is the standard fixed uh, fixed line that is the netsuite.com slash app slash login oauth authorization.nl now you have to go here and then response type that is the code i will show you what is the code here redirect uri that is https percentage 3a means colon percentage 2f percentage 2f means slash slash and here is the local host scope scope is rest web services state state it's a string you can take it it's any type of a long string containing alphanumeric values and here is the client id now client id means here you have just received the client id this Keep it somewhere in the notepad. Okay. And then client ID and then click here, send. Now see here, you will see here 200. Okay. Here is the login. Now copy this string control A, control C, and then paste it here in a new tab. Okay. So REST Web Services BISP 12 has access to BISP solutions. Okay. As role administrator. Now we have to click here, continue. That means you are authorizing. Yes. Now go to the URL and then you will see here the code. 
so we have to copy the code control c right then go to the another tab now what's this i will show you go to the another tab write down this https this is the tstrdv 2072950 means 2072950 this tstrdv 2097.app.netsuite.com okay so dot suite talk api netsuite.com services rest auth this is the fixed string you have to write down as it is after that you need to go to authorization you have to put the client id and the client password then in the body part here xww form url encoded you have to write down the code just now we have just copied let me show you from here we have just copied that uh, code so we have to apply this control v then redirect uri is the local host and then grant type is authorization code now just click here send so now you will see just a second something went wrong authorization code okay let me copy this And then in the here, Yeah, here I have just copied that code here from just let me show you again. I have just uh, refreshed this page. So I got a new code and then I have copied that code here. So this is how I get the refresh code token and the access token and it will expire after one hour, right? So I will copy this refresh token from here to here. It's a bit long process. So I will copy this and then take another tab in the postman. Now here, the authorization is again, the same client ID and the client here, you have to take the basic auth. So you have to put the username that is the client ID and the client secret in the body part. You have to take grant type is refresh token and refresh token in place of refresh token you have to copy the newly copied refresh token and then press send button, right? So again, you have get the access token. So here is the access token. Now let me copy this. Control C and then, and then open another tab here. Now from here, what we need to do, first of all, go to authorization. Here you have to take the bearer code. Where is that bearer token? So this is the bearer token and paste this. Just recently copied control V. That's it. 
in the params you have to put the limit 5 limit 5 i will show you what is this you have to put the query here what's the query here is q equal to select c dot email from customer c transactions t where t dot entity equal to c dot id and t dot type equal to cs order i will show you how it works now you have to just press send button now look at this and one more thing in the header part also you have to take care of this prefer is transient content type content length it will automatically uh, come so don't need to worry about that now see here we have written this query and here what it sends limit 5 that is it will send the five records now i will show you see here laura at the rate 80 acres.com so just remember what the our query was laura 80 acres and here is just uh, take this also view and here yes now see what was our query query is select email okay from customer c transaction t where t dot entity transaction entity equal to c dot id and entity is sales order t dot type is sales order that means inside sales order here is the id and in the sales order entity means the name of that customer that means t dot id equal to c dot t dot entity equal to c dot id t dot entity equal to c dot id c means customer customer id equal to t dot entity t means t type is sales order that means sales order whatever the entity is it would be equal to this another example is customer 123 reg see here ps at the rate winnersky.com okay so ps at the rate winnersky.com com now see here id is 123 reg and here also you will see 123 reg that means sales order entity equal to c dot id here you will see so this is just an example that i have taken extracted the data now there can be any type of n, n number of uh, records that you need to extract right so this is how you need to do first we need to do some settings in the let's have a quick recap here enabling the features first of all see here o auth and the rest web services another is integration you have to set up a new integration so you will get a client id and the client secret after that you need to open the postman and then you have to use the get operation then post for getting the refresh token and then another post for getting the access token and after that you would be able to access the data so you can do c dot email c dot name anything for example here we have taken c dot email right here is the id of that particular field email you can uh, access this c dot territory also whatever c dot territory so you can uh, extract the id and you can put it into the query so that you can extract any type of data so this is how we use postman for executing the sql queries and this is most important because in in any live project there are customized requirements many requirements are there like they want to see uh, the particular data from uh, extracted from these these tables so you have to uh, become expert in this so this is how we extract the data so guys please uh, practice on this and if you uh, face any difficulty you can note down in the comment box i will resolve your queries so please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching the video thank you